as Dorothy Parker would say, I'd love a martini. Two at the most. Three, I'm under the table. Four, I'm under the host. Today we're gonna talk about alcohol, drinks, and I'm gonna unveil a drink that I've been working on for about a month. So check it out. Look I am. I have to tell you, martinis are okay, but I really love Manhattans. I love bourbon. I love the taste of bourbon or rye. I love the taste of the, the vermouth and the, and the bitters in it. Ah, it's something, it's something wonderful about it. And I discovered recently, they're coming out with these barrel aged drinks. And barrel, age, barrel aging just pushes it up a notch. It's like it, it mellows out the flavor of some of these drinks. There's a place near me called the Farm and the Fisherman, and they have like a whole menu of barrel aged cocktails. And I had a barrel aged Manhattan, and it was the most amazing thing. And I thought, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna make a barrel aged Manhattan. So what I did is I took my favorite, is old granddad and got a little kick to it which I like and I took some vermouth I basically made a whole jar of this and bitters and I took some cherries I took Lakshardo cherries or in this case Egbert's cherries what's great about these as opposed to the maraschino cherries is these have real sugar it's not the artificial sweeteners it's not corn syrup there's no colors in it it's just basically cherry that's been put into the sauce and aged and it's wonderful. And the thing you really need is one of these. And you put it into one of these, these, check it out, see it? One of these guys. This is what ages your drink. It's basically, it's an oak stave that's been charred and you put it in your drink. And I let this stuff sit in this for a month with, with the cherries, the cherry juice, bitters, vermouth and the whiskey and it's wonderful. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open this sucker up and taste it, okay? So let's do this. Basically, you can do any cocktail. I just decided Manhattan because, hell, I love Manhattans, let me tell you. All right, this is the first time I've opened, it, opened this in like a month, it's really wonderful. I've looked at it, mm, smells like whiskey. Mm, yummy. All right, let's do this. All right, and there's the stave. Check it out. Oh no, a little overflow. Uh oh, oh no. All right, well, I'll just have to drink some, huh? All right, well, let me take this out. Put some in this glass. All right. Hmm. Put some of this in this glass. I want to compare. Let's see what it looks like. Oh wow. All of a sudden, you can see the difference. Look at that. That's amazing. Here. Check this out. Look at that. This is the barrel aged, and this is the old, the unbarrel aged. I don't know whatever you want to call it. Look at that. Completely different colors. Colors and everything. It's wonderful. It's got a red color to it. It could be from the vermouth and from the cherries, too. But it's also from the aging. So, all right. Here's what I'm going to do. Look high. Yep. That's whiskey, right? I love this stuff. It's strong. 114 proof. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. Oh yeah, that's really wonderful. That's really nice. It's definitely gotten mellower. It has a flavor to it. It's got, besides the vermouth and all the other stuff in it, it's definitely mellower. It's definitely it's sweeter, it's kind of smoky. That's really wonderful. Wow, it definitely is much more smoother than the other stuff. This stuff has, has a nice flavor to it, it's got a kick to it. This just like amps it up a notch and it's, it's, it's just wonderful, it's just smoky and delicious. Mm. So guys, get, you know what you need to do? You need to go out and get a mason jar like this. You need to get a stave and Make your own cocktails in this and let it You just have to be patient. One month. That's all you need. One month. You guys go on. Make your, make your Manhattans. Make whatever you want to make. I'm going to keep drinking. Enjoy.